My name is Christopher Fenton. I'm a sales engineer over here at Sweetwater. In this video, I'm going to be going over the newest member of the Pioneer Controller family, the newest member of the XDJ family, the Pioneer XDJ RX3. I'll be honest, I've been a pretty big Pioneer fan since I started DJing almost a decade ago, which is pretty crazy to think about. And I was really excited when they reached out to me to do a video on this. All-in-one systems in general have always been my favorite to use as it brings a lot of firepower to your set while only having to need just a flash drive. While it's not necessary to use a flash drive for these performances, you're easily able to connect a computer with this USB port to easily expand the amount of capability you have with the system. And again, it's just awesome to have that much firepower and versatility in your setup for any gig that you have. Let's dive on in. The XDJ RX3 features a large 10-inch touchscreen, which is super responsive and very bright. Nice part is you can easily adjust the brightness in the utility menu to fit pretty much any environment that you're in. Even with that larger screen, it does still feel like a much smaller, compact controller, making it a very solid choice for someone wanting the functionality and firepower of a CDJ setup while still being as portable as a smaller format controller. Along with that larger touchscreen, the Pioneer team decided to give the entire menu a bit of an upgrade, a bit of a facelift, making it very easy to navigate through all the menus and find the right track from your USB stick. So below both of these decks, uh, Pioneer has included eight performance pads. Some of the usual suspects are there. You've got hot cue, beat loop, slip loop, as well as a beat jump feature, which again is pretty typical for most DJ controllers. These pads as well have a second menu. So by pressing each of these buttons twice brings up a second set of commands. For the hot cues, it gives you a gate cue. So when you press the cue button, it doesn't start immediately. Beat loop gives you another just page of different loops you can access. Slip loop in introduces some release effects, as well as beat jump is giving you much more beats to jump around with. By pressing those buttons, it turns the button's color from their typical shade to a green, making it, again, very easy to see that you're in a different menu, and again, making it very easy to tell where you're at in the set and what you need to have happen to get to the next track easily. The similarities between the high-end system from Pioneer as well as the RX3 here are even more apparent in the middle mixer section. You might notice it's laid out very similarly to the, their high-end mixers, as well as including a lot of the features that are, again, just mainstays of these high-end systems. On the left side, you've got six sound color effects, all of which can be controlled by the parameter and these middle knobs. Again, very easy. Buttons turn on and flink so you know exactly which one's on, which one's being used. On the right-hand side, you've got a very robust effect matrix. This controller brings the best of the DGM mixers to the smaller format without sacrificing much of anything. One of the coolest features that I found uh, while diving into the RX was just the effect matrix, specifically this knob and how it reacts to the touchscreen. By selecting an effect on this knob, you're easily able to store it on this small band right below the uh, waveform. If you're ever in a dimly lit club, you know exactly how hard it is to try and find the exact right effect. You've got to lean in, try and poke around, and the chances are very high you choose the wrong effect. I can't count how many times I've selected the wrong effect on a track, and being able to easily recall an effect and easily call it in, turn it on, put on the master, put it on any track, it's indispensable for any DJ. From top to bottom, this XDJ RX3 really feels like this is a controller for someone that wants the power and quality of the CDJs while staying in that compact package. Pioneer even put in the same audio engine that's featured in the CDJ3000s, bringing a much higher sound quality to the controller. 
Overall, I'd highly recommend this controller to anyone looking to start making the jump from professional or even just, you know, intermediate level to something that's more standalone and give you a lot more versatility down the road. That's it for the XGJ RX3. Um, I hope this video gave you guys a taste of what this gear can do. If you have any other questions about the RX3 or any other Pioneer products, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or check us out online at sweetwater.com. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here to see more great content like this or head over to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.